I'm looking back at the albums I heard growing up. Not the obvious ones like American Beauty or Adam Hart Mother, just the deeper cuts, right? So here are the albums that made me. Y'all, this is a big, big one for me. Big enough that I thought it might not be necessarily a deep cut by most standards. But even though Jeff Beck's Blow by Blow was the biggest selling instrumental rock album of all time, until Surfing with the Alien anyway, it's still an instrumental rock album, which means its audience is a lot smaller. Maybe it's only big among musicians? I first heard Blow by Blow on cassette in the car during road trips. And when we were living in Nashville, there were a lot of road trips. See, my stepfather John's two biggest songwriting partners lived quite a ways away from us. One out in the countryside near Murfreesboro, and one in Bowling Green, Kentucky. So yeah, lots of time in the car. In those early days in the car, it was side two of Blow by Blow that held my attention the most. Which makes some sense, given the Stevie Wonder connection for both Cause We've Ended His Lovers and Thelonious. But when I started spending a lot of time with this album in high school and college, I found that I was more attracted to the quirkier songs on side one, like Air Blower and Scatterbrain. Those are the ones I kind of gravitated towards. And my goodness, have I spent a lot of time with Blow by Blow. In fact, if you were to tell me that you had a complete record of my life to this date, and after compiling all the music I've heard over the years, Blow by Blow was the album I'd heard the most, well, I don't think I'd be surprised. This is one I know by heart. This is one I could transcribe from memory. This is a super important album in my development as a musician. My favorites from Blow by Blow? Well, that's, that's tough. So let's just say I used to play Scatterbrain regularly with my band Bonobos Convergence, and I used to play Freeway Jam regularly with Butch Trucks and the Freight Train Band. Final analysis, is this an album I still like? Adore it. Is this an album I still spin regularly? Yeah, it's a regular part of my practice routine. And would I recommend Blow by Blow? I mean, if you haven't heard it by now, 